thank you for joining us tonight on the on our webinar. We're going to talk to you about some stuff that we're real excited about. I do believe we're streaming this live on Facebook as well. So if you are friends with Al Cardi, uh, first of all, if you're not friends with Al Cardi, you absolutely should be. Uh, but if you are friends with Al Cardi, go to his Facebook page. We are live streaming this right now on Facebook. Share this link and everyone in your network will be able to see what you're about to see tonight. It's a big, big deal, folks, because what we're talking about is the financial revolution. Okay. Now, quick disclaimer before we get started. I am not a tax accountant, nor am I a lawyer. I'm not here to give you tax or legal advice, but what I am here to do tonight is I'm going to share with you some common sense solutions to problems that people face every single day, okay? So what are we gonna to accomplish today? First of all, we're gonna share some information that will benefit you and your family and the people that you know, love, and care about. And we're also gonna explain by sharing this information how it could be financially rewarding for you and your family and the people around you, okay? Now, what makes us different? What makes Freedom Equity Group, what makes FEG different? Well, our crusade, is set to revolutionize a multi-trillion dollar industry. That's a trillion with a T, folks, okay? No different than when McDonald's changed the restaurant business forever, the way that Apple revolutionized communication, or how Starbucks changed the coffee industry, Freedom Equity Group is going to do that in the financial service industry. How our compensation model is second to none. We have the most powerful alliances with the industry's largest, oldest, most reputable and highest rated companies. And we have the best exit strategy in the industry and that's ESP or equity share points. And we'll explain what that means later on in this presentation. So let's tell you a little bit about us, our company, okay? Our company, Freedom Equity Group, was founded in 2002 by these three gentlemen, Ron Petranovich, Ron Blumenkemper, Bill St. Clair, who have over 100 years experience combined in the financial service industry and have been partners together in this industry for over the last 20 years. That's a big deal, folks. They've been partners longer than some marriages and they've made it work very, very successfully. In fact, so successfully that during their careers as partners, they have built and sold one of the biggest and most successful companies in our industry and they shared the profits of that sale with the agents who helped them build it. That's something that has never been done before. We have already done. Big, big deal. Now, who are some of the powerful alliances that we have accrued over the time? Well, we represent companies like American National, National Life Group, Foresters, Athene, Fidelity, and Guarantee Life. But one in particular that we're real, real excited about is AIG. And let me tell you why. AIG, first of all, they're the lead insurer of the One World Trade Center or the Freedom Tower. They are the largest insurance company in the world by market cap with over a trillion dollars in force. They insure 87% of the companies included in the Fortune Global 500 and 83% of the Forbes 2000. They insure the largest companies in the world. Now, why are we so excited about AIG? Because for the first time ever at AIG, we have formed the ultimate alliance. We're the only IMO in our industry that has been co-branded by AIG. You can go to AIG.com slash FEG, and we have made an incredible partnership with them. And this is something that they have never done before with any other company. The largest insurance company in the world has decided to partner with us exclusively on this particular platform. So we're super, super excited about AIG. And now let's get into what it is that we do. What do we do at FEG? What do we do at Freedom Equity Group? Well, let me break it down for you like this, because you're going to hear us refer to Family A and Family B quite a bit. Family A, they own an asset, and that asset is for their heirs, it's for their children, it's for their estate, it's for somebody else, okay? Family B owns the exact same asset. And that asset can be used for emergencies, it could be used for college funding, it could be used for tax-free savings or tax-free retirement income, it could be used for a down payment on a house or take a vacation, pay off debt, whatever it is that you want to use it for. And it's also for your heirs, for your kids, for your estate. So if you had to choose between family A and family B, which family would you rather be? Now, I know you can't speak on this particular webinar, but I know all of you are pointing to family B. Why wouldn't you want to be, right? Well, 
what is your family's most valuable asset? And we've asked this question quite a bit as of late, and most people say, well, it's my home, it's my car, it's maybe my jewelry or something material, but in fact, your most valuable asset and your family's most valuable asset is your ability to earn an income and provide for them. Now, what happens if that income stops? See, according to marketwatch.com, in April of this year, 50%, 50% of Americans are living from paycheck to paycheck. So what happens if that income stops? And I wanna tell you a quick, true story. This is a family friend of mine from back east. His name is Mike, he was an attorney in Massachusetts. He had a beautiful home right on the water. He had a wife, teenage daughter, had his own law firm, he had his own practice, and he owned a million dollars worth of traditional life insurance. At age 44, Mike had a massive heart attack that required him to have triple bypass surgery. Now here's the good news, folks. Mike is still very much alive today. Here's the bad news. As a result of him getting sick, Mike lost his home, he almost lost his business, and was financially crippled, devastated in the process. You know what though, he still owns that million dollars worth of coverage today because he didn't die. That's a big problem. He was unable to avoid that financial devastation as a result from his illness. So the question really becomes, could you afford to live if something happened to you? Because if you got sick and can't go to work, who pays your bills? Last time I checked, the banks unfortunately don't care if you're laid up in a hospital not being able to earn an income and provide for your family. The bills keep rolling in. Who pays for the mortgage? Who pays for the car note? Who pays for the health insurance? Forget about trying to save for college for your kids or for retirement so you don't have to work till the day that you die. Most people, when faced with this situation, have a hard time putting food on the table. 50% of America lives paycheck to paycheck. So how long could you and your family survive financially if you got sick and couldn't work? It's a fair question. And you don't have to answer it out loud, but think about it. For most families, it could be a week or two or maybe a month at the most. But what if you were out of work for six, seven, eight months? See, here's the problem, folks. According to statistics based on the American Cancer Association, American Heart Association, things like that, 70% of Americans will suffer either a heart attack, stroke, or cancer before they reach age 65. Now, the good news 70% of those who, are, who suffer will survive. But who pays their bills? Who, when the income stops and the bills don't, who solves that problem? Well, let me tell you a story about a survivor, okay? And this is a real story too, folks, of about another gentleman from back east. His name was Dr. Jonathan. And Dr. Jonathan, who chose to become a client of ours and chose to have something that we call living benefits. After one month, one month, of owning our policy, Dr. Jonathan unfortunately was diagnosed with esophageal cancer, throat cancer. Four weeks later, four weeks after he was diagnosed and he found out he was sick, we sent him a check for $734,738.30. Big deal, folks, big deal. We made a huge difference in his life. In fact, so much so, and he was so compelled and moved by what we were able to do that he actually was featured on a documentary that aired on Fox Business News and PBS and a few other syndicates telling his story about why living benefits are so vitally important. And what are those living benefits? There are three categories. The first one, critical illness, things like heart attacks, cancer, strokes, and a plethora of other things. Things like major burns, loss of limbs, ALS, renal failure, organ transplant, you name it. If something happened to you, you could take a benefit from your life insurance policy while you're still alive. Chronic illness. If you aren't able to do two of the six activities of daily living, things like eating by yourself, dressing yourself, going to the bathroom by yourself, walking by yourself, things we take for granted. You could take a benefit from your life insurance policy while you're still alive. And terminal illness, if a doctor gives you two years or less to live, again, take that benefit while you're still alive. All of these are included at no additional cost. So no longer do you have to die for someone to get the money. You can now benefit from your own life insurance policy at no additional cost. This is a big 
deal, folks, because seven out of the 10 people we see every single day are gonna have a heart attack, stroke, or cancer before age 65, and most will go bankrupt as a result. We can solve that problem, okay? So who needs our help? Well, last time I checked, cancer is not biased to how old you are, what you look like, if you're male, female, or what language you speak. So with that said, 82 million millennials, 46 million generation extras, 77 million baby boomers, and 40 million seniors. That's over 200 million people who are in need of some common sense knowledge, in need of some financial and retirement solutions. Now, while we're speaking about retirement, let's dive in a little bit to that, okay? And we feel 100% that there is a huge crisis, a retirement crisis in America. And these statistics that you're seeing right now are from the Social Security Administration. And they said on average for every 100 people who reach retirement age at 65, 96% are either dead or dead broke by the time they get there. That means only 4% of the population in the wealthiest country in the world can actually afford to retire with some dignity. They can afford to retire at what's considered above poverty level. 96% won't get there. This is a big, big problem. In fact, it's so big that according to GoBankingRates.com, 66% of Americans fear going broke more than they do death. People would rather be dead than broke. Big, big problem. Big problem. And a lot of that has to do with some of the enemies of investors. A lot of it has to do with the way that we have been taught to save for our future and the way that we save for retirement, okay? And what you're looking at right here is what we so have humbly come to know as red line, blue line, okay? And these two lines represent family A, family B. This red line here represents over 100 million people and $18 trillion of retirement savings in vehicles like 401ks and IRAs. See, what most people don't understand about their traditional retirement vehicles is that there is inherent risk involved. This red line is the stock market, the S&P 500. Historically, these are the actual numbers, folks, from 1996 to 2016. You can see the red line goes up and down. Kind of looks like an EKG, right? That's what most people's retirement money does. When the markets are up, so are their retirement accounts. When the markets are down, so are their retirement accounts. Well, what's the blue line? The blue line is something that we call indexing. And you can see as the red line goes up, the blue does too. But when the red line goes down, the blue stays the same. And over this 20-year time period, the difference is almost $200,000 in retirement income. So a big, big enemy of investors is market risk. We show people how to eliminate the risk. The other three big enemies of investors, and yourself included with traditional retirement vehicles, are taxes, fees, and time. So let's talk about these three. First, let's start with taxes, okay? Here's the tax problem. This chart represents the national debt, that's the green area, and the gold line is the highest tax bracket during the same time frame. Well, you can see back during the 40s, World War II era, the debt was as high as it's ever been, and taxes were as high as 94%. That means if you were around back then, and in that tax bracket, for every dollar you made, you got to keep six cents big problem, right? It took you a long time, even by a cheeseburger back in the 40s. Well, you can see as we paid the debt down, the taxes came down as well. Not as quickly, but they did come down. But here we are today. We're at the second highest debt, approaching almost the same amount of debt we had in the 40s today, but we're in the third lowest tax bracket during the same time frame. So if you had a guess, you think taxes are going up or down. In my opinion, they're going up. I'm a pretty simple guy, folks, and here's how I look at it. This gold line is almost never below the green. And when it does get below the green, they are real quick to correct it. But we're way down here, and we gotta get way up there. They have to go up, okay? Now, with that said, why is it a problem? Well, let's look at the ways that we save for retirement. There's really only three ways that we save money. You can save it in tax now, you, each year, you pay income taxes on the earnings you receive, things like savings accounts, checking accounts, CDs, things like that. You can save it in tax later, which basically allows you to have earnings accumulate on a tax-deferred basis so you don't pay tax on any of your earnings, but you pay taxes when you withdraw your money. This is where 100 million people and $18 trillion worth of money sits today in a tax-later type situation. Things like 
IRAs, 401ks, 403bs. Or you could save your money in a tax never. That's right, I said tax never. I know it says tax advantage, but in fact, it is tax never. Because you can have earnings accumulate tax deferred where you don't have to pay tax on it and access that money completely 100% income tax free and penalty free. Things like permanent life insurance with cash value and other factors. So would it be fair to say that if you were saving money in either tax now or tax later, it makes sense to put it into tax never? I mean, I would, especially if you subscribe like I do to the theory that taxes are going up. Why trade a known today for a potentially higher known unknown in the future when that future you could have tax free? Okay, so now let's talk about fees. So we talked about risk, we talked about taxes, now let's talk about fees. See, according to TonyRobbins.com and CNBC.com, for those who are participating in 401ks currently today, 80% have no idea what they pay in fees. 80%, eight out of every 10 people who are contributing to a 401k have no idea what they pay in fee. In fact, 60% of those people believe they pay no fee at all. But here's the scary part, folks. The average fee in your 401k is 3.12%. Now that, not may sound, that may not sound like a big number. However, for every 1% you pay in fees, you give up 10 years of retirement income. And most people are paying over 3%. They are giving up 30 years of retirement income without even knowing about it. Big, big problem. And we need to educate people on a better way to save for their future. Now we talked about risk, we talked about fees, we talked about taxes. Now the last enemy of investor was time. And let's break down a couple of very basic principles that have been in the financial service industry forever. Let's start with the rule of 72. The rule of 72 describes what we call compound interest. And basically what it says is if you divide your rate of return into the number 72, the result is the number of years are, that are required for your money to double. So in this example, if you were earning 4%, well, your money would double every 18 years. If you were earning 6%, your money would double every 12 years. And if you were earning 8%, your money doubles every nine years. Now, for most people who do not understand compound interest, which Albert Einstein said was the eighth greatest wonder in the world, and it can either work for you or against you, as long as you understand it, most people say, well, eight is exactly double four, so my money should double, right? In fact, it's better than that, folks. When you understand compound interest, when you're earning 8%, it's actually four times the amount as if you were earning 4%. Big, big deal. Now remember, it can work for you or against you. We're here to help educate on how it can work for you, okay? Now, again, when it comes to time, what is the high cost of waiting? This chart here shows the monthly investment required for you to accumulate a million dollars by age 65, assuming that you earn 8% compound interest. If you start at age 25, you only have to save $286 a month. That's not too bad, that's pretty feasible. If you waited till you're age 40, well now that 286 is now $1,000 a month. If you waited till you're age 50, now it's 2,889. And if you waited until you're age 60, you'd have to save a staggering $13,609 every month just to accumulate a million dollars by the time you're age 65. Here's the challenge. Most people wait too long. They don't start saving money. And how could they? Because 50% of America lives paycheck to paycheck. This is why we have a huge retirement crisis in America. The longer you wait, the more expensive it becomes and the less likely it is that you're going to be part of that 4% who can actually retire with some dignity. Now, what is the anatomy of an ideal saving strategy? Well, you would want to have stock market based returns. You'd also want to be guaranteed against loss. And you would also want tax deferred growth and tax free income, right? Well, good news. There is such a thing that exists. And it's called IUL or indexed universal life. This is the ultimate accumulation strategy. And it's been around for the last 20 years. This is what the banks, the wealthy, the politicians, this is what they do. Folks, this is what they do. And it allows you to use tax-free uses of cash 
that can be accessed through withdrawals or loans for a variety of reasons. Could be supplemental retirement income. It could cover emergencies or business expenses. Could put your kids through college or pay for a wedding, vacations, starting a business, home improvements, whatever you need it for. It's your money. You can access it at any time for any reason without penalty, tax free. The ultimate, ultimate, ultimate savings strategy. Now, with that said, we have family A. They own death insurance, right? That's what my friend Mike owned. He had to die for his family to access that million dollars, but fortunately or unfortunately, however you want to see it, he lived, okay? That's family A. Family B is protected if they die too soon, get sick along the way, or live a long, healthy life. Now, I'm almost positive that I'm not the smartest guy on this call, but I'm pretty sure the only three things that can happen to you in life are either you die too soon, get sick along the way, or live a long, healthy life, and we have one solution that'll cover you no matter what life throws. So the question really is, I know you want to be family B, but who do you know that wants to be family B? And I can see the wheel spinning in your head. I know that you're thinking of some people that you know, love, and care about who would absolutely want to hear this information and become family B just like you would too. Now, with that said, I have a great privilege of introducing someone who I've known for a very, very long time. He's had 32 years experience in this industry. He's been my coach and my mentor, had a lot of success, and, and I really appreciate all the time and effort he's putting in to helping me grow my business. His name is Al Cardi. And he's going to talk to you a little bit about why we need to do what it is that we need to do for our family. So Al, I'll turn it to you. All right, great job, Mike, as always. And you know, every time I hear what we do, it, it's staggering to me because you know, the truth is America is in a financial crisis. You know, when you look at statistics today, and I'm just gonna share a couple with you as I'm gonna talk about our compensation, how it works. You know, 55% of Americans did not save one penny last year. You know, 50%, as you heard Mike say, are living paycheck to paycheck, and 70% of America, now I want you to imagine this here, okay? 70% of America don't like their jobs, okay? So not only are they not making enough money to make ends meet, they're not saving any money, 70% of them don't even want to be there. You can, you can tell we have a crisis, and it's not only about money, it's about where people are and where they don't want to be. So you might say, well, why are we in a crisis? Well, why do we need to make more money? Well, let's look at some numbers. Let's look at what's happened over the last 37 years. This is called inflation. This gives you an idea of how money really works, how it can work for you or against you. I mean, look at the federal debt. At one point, it was $909 billion. Today, it's over $20 trillion. That's a 2,000% increase. A new car. Back in 1980, it was $7,200. Today, the average is 33000 That's a 365% increase or inflation. A new home, 62000 versus over 400000 That's 546%. But look at our paychecks. The average person or fam family made 17000 Today, they make a little over 62000 That's 252%. Well, if you look in comparison to homes and new cars, and by the way, we don't even have college education up here. Uh, if we put some of those kind of numbers up, it would really be staggering. Well, the real question is, are we going backwards or are we going forwards? Based on this chart, we're going backwards. People today, their money does not last as long as it did 37 years ago. That's a true story. That's a fact. And that's what we need to be concerned about. So the real question for you is, are you, where you, are you where you thought you were going to be 10 years ago? So you look back 10 years ago and look at where you're sitting today. Is this where you thought you'd be? You know, do you have the, the type of financial success you believe you've had? Uh, are you better off today than you were 10 years ago? But what's scarier is what do you think the next 10 years are going to look like? Okay, uh, you know, some might define the definition of insanity as doing the same thing over and over and expecting it to change. I want you to understand we have a systemic problem in this country, in my opinion. If 96% of America are retiring dead or dead broke, that's a problem. When you look at 90 plus percent of America work for somebody else, meaning they have jobs. Most of you on this call perhaps are a 96 percent, right? Where do you see yourself? Are you on path to be in the 4%? See, it's not no, only about retirement. 
It's about the journey to getting there. Are you in the 4% category right now? Or are you in the 96% category right now? Well, what's going to change that unless we as individuals change that, right? So the fact is, is it time for you to make a change? Let me show you how we get paid in our business, which I think is exciting. Look, we talk about people making more money. Uh, you, know, you know, you come in our business, help one family a week at an entry level position. I mean, that's $40,000 a year part time. Now, of course, once you're trained, okay, help one family a week make 40000 a year. What if you help, you know, one every other week and make 20000 a year? What's the value to middle America today? Bill and Mary with a couple of kids, maybe own a house, making an extra fifteen to $2,000 a month. What would that do for that family? Well, it may change the zip code. It might get them a second car. It might get them quality vacation every year. It might be some money they can put away for their kids to go to college. It's a multitude of that. You know, I was talking to somebody before we got on this webinar tonight, we were talking about the cost of education. And there are kids today that get out of college, maybe they have $100,000 in student loans, and they're coming out making forty or maybe $50,000 a year. Well, would a, a, as a regional manager with us, help a one family a week, they can make 60000 a year. As a vice president, a little more experience, same one family a week, that's $80,000 a year. Well, is that better than just having a job with no real control over their destiny or control of where they're going? I mean, what if you became a builder with us? You know, and that's for people that are serious about saying, you know what, I'd like to be in business for myself. I mean, I can remember 32 years ago when I sat in a little meeting with a handful of people and they said, look, you know, our company will give you a chance to become financially independent. Be in business for yourself, control your own destiny, have the freedom that you want to have, and that's what I'm all about is freedom. Well, become a builder with us, help one family a week and make $80,000 a year like we talked about. What if you just took a few people and mentored them? Just three, and you talk. In other words, your whole business could be sitting at a booth at Denny's. You and three people. Teach them how to help two clients a month. That's an additional 3600 in income. That's a $10,000 plus dollar a month income or a six-figure income. <clears throat> now, the reason why we point this out is because that also qualifies you for equity share points in our company, which, by the way, you don't have to buy. You don't have to purchase anything. They're giving, those points are given to you once you earn a six-figure income in our company. Half of this company will be shared down the road if and when it's so, and we, we have a stake in this here for our future. So it's a, it's a much bigger deal than just making a little bit of money, okay? Why, why do we say, oh, we, we consider this a risk-free opportunity? Well, because there is no risk. You can have a great income. You can do some traveling. You can be your own boss. You can have financial stability. You can do more for your family. You know, have your own business, which has always been super important to me. Maybe it is to you too. Have control. See, here's the key, folks. If you can control your own destiny, now it's up to you. See, it's not up to your employer. It's not up to, you know, your, your paycheck based on where you're going to live, what car you're going to drive based on your employer. No, it's based on you. If you want a nicer car, well, you can work harder and earn that. And you can drive a nicer car if you want a nicer home, if you want to travel, if you want to do more for your kids, if you want to have a bigger family, you can do all that if you're in control of your income. We put you in control. No major investment. You don't need any experience because we'll train you how to do this business. You don't need any inventory. You can start part-time so you don't have to lose that job security. And look, I know most people on this call, if you're in a job, statistically, 70% of you don't like it. You don't like the commute. You don't like the pay. You don't like your boss, whatever it may be. There's something about it you don't like. We're giving you a chance to hang on to that for now while you work towards building your future, okay? No monthly fees. There's no subscriptions here. The territory is unlimited. We have people on this webinar in probably 12 to 15 states, so clearly we don't have to be sitting one-on-one -on -one with everybody. We've got a bunch of people on this webinar and we're in different parts of the country. So technology has enabled us to really grow our business as well as train people on how to do our business because of the use of technology, okay? As I'm, as I'm closing out here, 
Uh, you know, when we talk about a business, you always have to evaluate, in my opinion, with three things, okay? The first one is, is there a market for the product or service that I'm going to offer, right? In other words, if you're trying to sell heaters in Texas, probably not a good idea. It's pretty warm here, okay? Uh, so you want to make sure you have a marketplace for what we do. Well, there's 200 million people that need what we do. Okay, uh, you know, 95% of America has never heard of living benefits. We hear stories every day of situations, people having cancer, GoFundMes. Why? They don't know living benefits exist. We can help a lot of people. So there's definitely a need for what we do. Is there money to be made? Well, we just talked about just a taste of the money can be made, but I want you to understand this here. It's a $7 trillion industry, and once again, very few people have really heard about living benefits. And last but not least, well, can I do it? Well, of course you can do it, okay? I mean, we talk about red line, blue line. You know, I'm sure everybody picked the blue line. Everybody we talk to picks the blue line, but so many people are on the red line for one simple reason. They don't know there's a blue line. So all we do is show them the difference. We talk about living benefits. You know, you heard the story of Mike. Well, would Mike have been better off had somebody w with our company met him before he had a triple bypass? Heck yeah. Okay. Mike would have got a benefit while he was alive that would have totally changed his financial outlook. So we know you can do it. The question is, will you? The question is, are you at a point in your life, and I don't know, only you can answer that question, that you're willing to try something new. And by the way, work hard at it, okay? There's no free lunch, there's no free lunch in America. There is an opportunity for you to do something great with your life. There's a true opportunity to do that with Freedom Equity Group, but it really comes down to how bad do you want it? Do you really wanna make a change for your family? Do you really wanna control your own destiny? Uh, you know, this is certainly not a get rich quick scheme or anything like that, but I promise you, it's the fastest thing you'll ever do, in my opinion, to get into a point where you have at least financial stability and comfort in your life, uh, and it can grow from there. So we're very excited about what we do, and what it comes down to is where do you see yourself? Well, maybe you see the family benefit from the information we shared with you tonight. And of course, the person who invited you here would be happy to get that information to you, and make no mistake about it. In my opinion, my humble opinion, everybody needs living benefits because nobody is exempt from a critical illness. Anybody can get sick at any time for any reason because a lot of that's genetics. We never know when that's going to happen, okay? Second thing is, who do you know that could benefit? I'm sure everybody on this webinar has referred somebody to a restaurant or a movie that they, they had a good meal, they saw a good movie. And they did that for free. They did that because they're their friends and they wanted to share that information. Well, you could do the same thing here. You could refer people to this information. I know you know that many people would want to hear about this here. Now, you don't have to do it for free. You can do it with us part-time. We train you. You earn additional income. You do get paid while you train, okay? So you get paid for your training. You can do this part-time, make an extra 20, 30,000 a year if that's all you want. Obviously, that opportunity exists. Some of you could see this as a transition out of your situation that you're in now. Maybe you see yourself as a 96 percenter and realize that there's no way out with what I'm doing. I've got to do something different, different and this may be your vehicle to get there, okay? Uh, and lastly, what I'd like to say is, you know, I'm sure you're going to have more questions, okay? We didn't answer everything that perhaps, you, you know, this is a very, very short presentation. It's to give you an idea of what we do in one of the largest industries in the world that's created a lot of wealth for a lot of families, not only as clients, but as independent business owners within the industry. I don't know of too many other industry, in fact, I don't know of any other industry that has created as much wealth for people that worked in the industry than our industry uh, of entrepreneurs. So I appreciate you being on the call. This was, um, we streamed this on, on Facebook. We have this live on our Freedom Builder Info website. So if you go to freedombuilderinfo.com, you can view a recorded version of this here. It's front and center if you want to get some more insight. But what I would recommend you do quickly, 
the next 24 to 48 hours, get with the person who invited you to this webinar and do two things you got to do. The first thing is you got to say thank you because without them, you may not have ever heard of living benefits. You may not have heard, you may not hear about it for another 20 years had it not been for the person who shared this with you tonight. Number two, ask the questions. Find out if we're a good fit for you. Let's make sure you're a good fit for us, and if you are, we'd love to work with you. So once again, I appreciate everybody being on the call. I thank you for your time, which is precious, and I know you can't get it back, and hopefully it was as worthwhile for you as it has been for us. Thank you, uh, and have a good night, everybody.